Hello coders. In this video, I am going to explain you some important functions and attribute of Pandas data frame. So let's get started. So first, shape attribute. Shape attributes of Pandas data frame stores the number of rows and number of columns as a tuple. You can see over here. In our data set, we have seven rows and two columns. It is also possible to unpack and store them in separate variables that I will show you practically shortly in the Jupyter notebook. Next, head. So here you can see shape is an attribute of pandas data frame, but head is a function of pandas data frame. Here you can see the head function is used to get the first n rows. By default, it will display first five rows of the data frame that you can see over here. Also, we can pass the integer value inside the head function that I will show you practically in the Jupyter notebook. Next function tail. So tail function is used to get last n rows. By default, it will display last five rows of the data frame. Next column. So you can see here columns is an attribute of pandas data frame. So this attribute returns the column labels of the given data frame. So here you can see in our data frame columns are name and marks. So df1 dot columns it will display the column labels name and marks next very important function info so info function is used to print a concise summary of a data frame this method prints information about a data frame including index d type column d type non null values and memory usage next we can access the columns using bracket notation and dot notation here you can see first we have used bracket notation to display the name columns same we can do with the dot notation to display the columns in pandas you can display multiple columns using list inside df1 that can't possible with help of dot notation that you can see over here with bracket notation we can print number of columns simultaneously next accessing the row that you can do with the slicing or using ilock so i will explain you ilock method and lock method in the next video here just i have defined to get some information about the pandas data frame next we can find maximum value minimum value and average value from particular columns using max mean and mean function here you can see i have passed max mean and mean function on the marks column next describe method so describe function is used to view some basic statistical details like mean standard deviation and percentile that you can see over here it will display the count value mean means average value standard deviation minimum value these 25 percent 50 percent and 75 percent are the percentile and also it will display the maximum value so this function is used to view some basic statistical details about data frame next function value count so value count function is used to get the counts of unique values so the resulting object will be in descending order so that the first element is the most frequently occurring element that you can see over here 99 is the most frequently occurring element in our data frame that you can see one two and three as you can see the resulting object will be in descending order like 99 occurs three times 89 two times 87 one times and 90 one times in descending order so the first element is the most frequently occurring element in our data frame for example here is 99 next count count function returns the count of non null values in each data frame also we can apply it on the column here you can see we apply it on the column marks column so output is 7 because our marks column contains 7 non null values let i show you these functions and attribute practically in the jupyter notebook hello coders to explain you the different functions and attributes i am going to use this data frame that you can find if you want to use the same data then find this code in the description of this video so now let's get started so here you can see let i execute first this cell now first shape so df dot shape so shape attributes of pandas data frame stores the number of rows and columns as a tuple that you can see over here as i said also we can unpack so we can write a comma b then we can pass shape with a comma b that you can see so it is also possible to unpack and store them in a separate variables here i have stored the shape number of rows and number of columns in variable a and b next head
now you can see the head function is used to get first n rows by default it will display first five rows that you can see over here also here we can pass some integer value like one three four any but by default it will display first five rows only now let again we display our data frame then we apply tail df dot tail so as you can see tail function is used to get last n rows by default it will display last five rows of the data frame like head function also you can pass here integer values to display last two rows last three rows likewise next let again display our data frame now df dot columns df dot columns so now this attribute returns the column labels of the given data frame that you can see over here name and marks are our labels of the data frame that you can display by df dot columns next info which is very important function that you can see the info function is used to print a concise summary of a data frame so this method prints the information about a data frame including you can see index d type column d type non null values and memory usage that you can see over here next we can access the columns of our data frame using bracket notation like this name and also with the dot notation like this df dot marks but if you want to access let again display our data frame if you want to display number of columns simultaneously then we can't do it with the dot notation for that we have to use bracket notation that you can see now df dot marks let me apply min to find the minimum value also we can pass the max marks dot max to print the maximum value now to find the average value of the marks column we have to write mean that will display the average value of the marks column now df dot describe so as i said describe function is used to view some basic statistical information like count mean standard deviation minimum value maximum value and percentile say well 25 50 75 next let again we display our data frame now next is value count so df let i write marks dot value counts so value counts function is used to get count of unique values so the resulting object will be in descending order so that the first element is the most frequent occurring elements so now let me change our data frame to explain you this concept of value count let i copy and paste it over here now let me change the data frame now let me apply the value count directly on the data frame value that you can see over here also we can apply on the marks or any other column that you can see over here so value count function is used to get the counts of unique values and the resulting object will be in descending order so that the first element is the most frequent occurring element that you can see over here 99 is the most frequent occurring elements in our data frame three times 87 two times 82 one times 89 one times now count so it returns the count of non null values in each data frame columns so here we have 
seven non-null values in this data frame. That also you can apply it to the particular columns. Let me apply it on the marks dot count. That will display non-null values. So here in marks column total we have seven non-null values. Still, if you have any doubt, then please write in the comment section. Thank you. Thank you for watching.